Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson may have his plan to reform Cleveland schools, but the union says not so fast. The Cleveland Teachers Union says they want amendments made to make, quote, a bad bill less bad. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin joins us live tonight from our newsroom. And Michael, educators and city leaders met today. They did in what they described as an interested parties meeting. We've been told no agreements came out of it, but all sides got to express their thoughts. A union had say they're concerned that the mayor's plan looks a lot like something we've seen before. Michelle Pomerantz is a first grade teacher at Benjamin Franklin Elementary by day, but she morphs into a pit bull for the Cleveland Teachers Union, or CTU, by mid afternoon. The collective bargaining agreement is our number one issue. This idea of fresh start is merely a Senate Bill 5 restart, and it's Senate Bill 5 on steroids. One of the amendments CTU would consider deals with teacher layoffs. She claims Mayor Frank Jackson's plan would allow teachers to get laid off for any reason. The union's proposal, if layoffs were necessary, would let teachers go based on their evaluation scores. If a teacher is not performing after a series of professional development, we feel that those teachers are the one that should be eliminated, regardless of seniority. Today, over at the school board, Cleveland City Council members met with Cleveland School CEO Eric Gordon, discussing the mayor's plan. Some, like Councilman Zach Reed, expressed concern with language he says would take away the union's right to negotiate contracts. It looks like SB5. The voters voted down SB5 overwhelmingly. And we cannot come in the back door trying to do an SB5 just to improve public education. Councilman Terrell Pruitt stopped short of calling it Senate Bill 5. That's the bill pushed by Governor Kasich to eliminate collective bargaining that voters shot down last November. That's fresh in everyone's mind, the Senate Bill 5 and, and that fight. This is not the same. Mayor Jackson's office just sent us a statement saying the union's plan is under review and any amendments must lead to substantive change now, not, quote, incremental change over time, end quote. In the newsroom, Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.